Now only on News 5. Human trafficking victims in our area will soon have a safe place to call home. A new shelter is now under construction. WKRG News 5's Blake Brown takes us inside this new facility. The problem is growing nationwide, but close to home, major highways and interstates make Alabama a hot spot for human trafficking. All over our state, north and south, 65, 10, 85, all major interstates where girls are taken on a circuit from city to city. Chris Zebach is the founder of Camille Place, a nonprofit group providing shelter and assistance to trafficking victims. She and longtime friend Amanda Luker quit their day jobs to build a home where these victims can heal. What we're seeing is because of being so few homes in the country that the wait list can be a hundred. It's six years in the making, but construction has started on this new shelter and the need is great. Right now, if we were open, we would be full. The organization getting a helping hand from churches and volunteers from across the southeast, many donating materials and time to build a place where these women and children will feel safe. The Alabama Human Trafficking Task Force reporting 80% of victims are female. I think uh, last count I had, we had uh, eight different states involved in it, men that have come from eight different states. <laughs> Right now, we are getting sheetrock up. Um, they should be done by Wednesday. The goal is to have the new facility open in about a year. These organizers say the multi billion dollar human trafficking industry isn't slowing down and the construction can't be completed soon enough. Trafficking is now the number one. I think it's finally surpassed drugs as the number one illegal crime in the world. I'm the most profitable. Um, you can sell marijuana one time, but you can sell a child many times. The group noticing an uptick in cases with children over the last couple of years. The shelter's exact location isn't being announced to make sure these victims stay protected. I'm Blake Brown, WKRG News 5.